Hi, everybody. It's Jamie. I hope you're doing well. It's great to see you. I am filming in my new apartment. If there's an echo, I apologize. We'll see how this goes by the time this is finished up. But I don't have a script or anything. I just wanted to check in because last time we talked, I was talking about EMDR. And I wanted to give you a quick update in case you guys were wondering, like, how did your first real session of EMDR go? Did you do like all the tapping and stuff? Uh, how did that go? Well, unfortunately, I don't have an update for that. I'll get into it for a minute, but um, yeah. So essentially I had my second session with my new therapist and I had a lot to talk about. There was a lot of like dramatic things going on um, just within the, the friend group I find myself in. Um, and, you know, I think it all worked itself out, but there were just events, right? So I had things I wanted to tell my therapist about and ultimately by the time I finished up my appointment, we were like, we don't, we don't have time to do EMDR. And I said to my therapist, like, you know, I, I just had all these things that I wanted to talk about. And I, I feel kind of bad because like, I wanted to try out this new technique. And she was like, well, every time we talk and every time we foster rapport in here, that is going to help you when you start doing the the EMDR sessions, when you start doing the um, returning to memories and um, reprocessing trauma and things of that nature. And the more rapport that I can foster with my therapist, the better. And um, every little bit of work counts and is helpful, which I thought was great um, and was supportive. And I felt like I could really connect with my therapist this time. Uh, I have another appointment coming up this upcoming Monday, uh, which I'm excited about. Um, before I head out of town for, you know, Christmas shenanigans, um, visiting people for the holidays. Uh, I live in Pittsburgh now, but I am originally from North Carolina. So I'm going to go visit some family, which will be nice. Um, stressful, but nice. So uh, I also wanted to tell you about some fun things that happened uh, this week. I went to the Handmade Arcade. I'm just looking at the name right now. Um, it is a holiday market where a bunch of like independent artists come together. I'll show some B-roll <laughs> throughout all of this discussion so you can look at something other than me talking in my apartment. But it was so much fun. I really recommend anybody who's artsy and can make it to Pittsburgh to go check this out next year if you didn't get a chance to this year. Um, one of my favorite things about Pittsburgh is the art scene and the various art events that I like to go to and the ways that I can see the same artists over and over again. Small artists that are making really, really cool stuff. And I hope to get more involved in like the Pittsburgh art scene and the art community um, as I get more settled here. Um, but they're just such nice people. And I was asking a, one artist, um, Emily, uh, I'll show you a, a clip of her stuff real quick. But Emily was telling me about how she does um, her work in Procreate, her sketch, and then moves uh, over to Fresco to, for the finished product, which I think is awesome. I've never tried Fresco. Um, and I, I haven't really done a whole lot of work in Vector, um, aside from like Clip Studio. And, and I don't know, I waffle between, you know, the pixel stuff and the vector stuff and and. and it's something that I should think more about. Uh, another exciting tool that I wanted to mention besides just talking about the holiday market is that I just started using uh, Mila Note. Uh, it was a sponsor for one of Fran Meneses videos. If I'm mispronouncing her last name, I apologize. Fran is a really cool artist. Um, and Fran does um, graphic novels, comics. Uh, you should check out her work. I will, I will add a card to her channel. Um, but I, I love watching Fran's art vlogs and um, Fran did a sponsored bit for Mila Note. And I was like, I actually wanna try this. This seems really neat because I don't like Pinterest, uh, but I need more places to store reference photos. Uh, I have a few things that I wanna work on. Um, and this is really helping me like organize ideas that I have for pieces and organize reference photos. So I can just sort of like, generate ideas um and i can keep a tab open with all the reference photos that i want i really want to draw more cats so here's a, a board that i made of cat stuff cat reference photos so uh yeah that that's that so far um 
So check out Mila now. I'm not sponsored, but uh, if you want to use my referral link, the link is, is down below. So check that out. Um, I've also been trying to upload more shorts just to share some short form content, um, get some attention to the channel to some degree. Um, this week I also visited Twitch again for the first time um, since I left Twitch. <laughs> And I hung out with some friends there, and that was really heartwarming. And um, I'm delighted to just hang out in other people's streams rather than stream myself. Uh, I, again, I'm waffling about how I feel about streaming again. Um, I love some of streaming on Twitch. Uh, I think doing art on Twitch is great. Uh, I just don't want to schedule. I think that's like the biggest thing for me is like I am really enjoying fostering connections um, with more spontaneity in my life today and I teach Monday Wednesday Friday most of the time and so I would stream like Tuesday Wednesday Thursday and it's just like uh I play D&D &D. um I watch Star Trek with friends once a week like I <laughs> I feel like I don't have a weeknight where I don't have something planned right and it, it's been nice to not have to be stuck to my computer or I, I don't feel like I have to cancel stream all the time because I want to go hang out with some friends. So I have to be cognizant that you guys are up here. Um, I keep looking at myself uh, in the center of my computer. So, but yeah, so this has been really fun to catch up in this way. Let me know what you think in the, um, in the comments section. Um, I would love to just do more quick chats like this, even ones where I'm like drawing and chatting. If that's your gig, um, then look forward to that. Uh, I just always feel like so self-conscious when I'm drawing and people are watching me because I am not one of those artists that like carefully plans what's going to happen before they sit down at the iPad or or what have you. Like it's a whole lot of chaos. It's a lot of like fixing my own mistakes. It's like, why are you doing it this way, Jamie? I don't know. I just don't know. I, I make weird design choices. I make mistakes. And maybe that's a good thing to show on on YouTube. Um, but it's been a joy to share my art here. I hope that that what I bring to the table is a sense of like, you can make cool stuff and make mistakes along the way too, or be trying new things. And that's okay. I think um, a lot of the more popular artists are doing the same thing they've always done, or they aren't taking risks. Um, and I like watching people who take risks and make mistakes, so... Um, anything else that I, I need to talk about? Um, you guys know that I'm a college English professor. We're at the end of our semester this week. So things are winding down and I'll be grading final papers soon. It's my favorite activity. Um, so yeah, that's, that's what's going on in life at the moment. Uh, I put together an ottoman that you can see in the background and I put I put together this office chair I'm currently sitting in today. I used a drill today, which I'm very proud of. So life is trucking along. Um, I need to find someone who's doing Vlogmas. I feel like that would be very fun. I, I don't know if daily vlogging is ever going to be a thing that I would, I would do or commit to. But yeah, so it's been fun sharing a, a glimpse into what's going on at the moment. Uh, I hope that my last video... Um, assuaged some concerns that people had had <laughs> instead of uh, causing more concerns but i'll keep you guys updated as things go along um yeah have a good one take care of yourselves it's a sad time of year um because there's so many expectations put on us of how we should feel how we should get along with people what our family dynamics are so deep breaths we're continuing onward to the new year and yeah Thank you for watching. Bye, everybody.